Hello co-creators, it's Donna here. How are you guys doing? I hope you are well. Uh, it's day 47, season 5 of my 100 day challenge. Wow! <laughs> um, I've got so much stuff to share with you guys. Um, I am feeling fantastic! Feeling just great today. Uh, had a fabulous weekend. Last week, if you watched my video last week, I was kind of having a week off. Um, but on the day that I made my video last week, I was failing dismally at having a week off, actually. Um, anyone who works for themselves will know that this can sometimes be a bit tricky if you have a week off, but you're at home. Um, and I suddenly realised on Thursday when I got an email back from my friend and I kind of said, you know, I can't believe it's Thursday already. I'm supposed to have a week off and I don't feel at all relaxed and all that. And it's basically because I've been saying to myself in my head, I'm having a week off, but I'll just do this. I'm having a week off, but I've just got to do that. I'm having a week off, but I'm just going to... Huh? So I just literally went, you know what? I haven't got to do anything. I work for myself. No one is going to fire me if I don't do it. And, uh, and you know, I need a rest. So so I had the, the time off that I wanted. But, but And it, funnily enough, actually did stuff that I wanted to do. because, But just because I felt like it, rather than because I felt like I had to do it. You know, there's a big difference. And one of the things I wanted to do was to sort out the mess here. Now, the mess here, let me show you, is not gone. It's still a mess. Um, a different type of mess, to be sure. Um, the lever arch files are, I've emptied four of them. I had a pile a foot high of paperwork that a lot of it I printed out like five years ago. Really good stuff about marketing and PR and la -de la. It's five years old, I haven't looked at it. Throw it away. Um, which I find it hard to do because um, I am, I am a, a, what do you call someone who just clings on to stuff. I'm a hoarder, that's the one. I hoard stuff, so it, it, it was painful, but I managed to do it. And I came to a realisation and I got really kind of passionately angry um, because of this realisation that I have been and I've been doing it again recently, I've been giving away my power to people who've never met me, who know nothing about me. How cross am I? <laughs> I'm joking, I'm not that cross at all. Uh, I was cross then and I just thought, do you know what, that's it, I'm sick of you people telling me what to do. I don't mean you guys here because you never do because you're great. Um, but you know, like, and again, if, you, if you've got your own business, you'll probably understand this. You sign up for all these marketing things. And because I've got my ebook to sell, I signed up to all these internet marketing things, hoping that they could help, because I don't really know what I'm doing. And um, hoping that they could help me. And, and I get absolutely bombarded with stuff. And it's created this working environment in which I'm constantly being told, you've got to do this, 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 you've got to do this. And I don't want to do any of it. And I thought, hang on a minute. When, when I threw all this stuff away, I thought, you know, I've been clinging on to this, thinking they know better than I do. And um, I appreciate that there are people who may have worked for 20 years in marketing or PR who absolutely will know better than I do about those things. But they don't know me and they don't know my business. And I got really cross about this whole... Um, not just the fear-based marketing, because that's always irritated me, but this whole, like, I know better than you, bullshit, you don't know anything about me. And I was really, it feels like a real, like, ah, oh, what a breakthrough. Don't tell me what to do. And, and no wonder, because I've always been a very independent spirit. I've Ever since I was about, I don't know, four, <laughs> if someone told me what to do, I'd instantly not want to do it. You know, even <laughs> even social events, if, if it's my choice to go, of course I want to go. But if people say, you've got to come, I think, I don't want to now. <sighs> I am contrariness personified. And that's a good thing, because it means I am my own woman. And I'm marketing my own way, and I'm doing my own thing. And um, with all due respect to all the people whose emails I've been getting and, and whose um, advice I've been interested in, you can just get out of my inbox. I don't think any of them watch these videos, but you know, <laughs> it's, just a, it's just a thing for them. Because um, 
I've got to go the way that feels right. I can't go the logical, sensible, and it never works. I've noticed um, in my business, in all the years I've been in business, when I try to follow someone else's plan, you know, this is how you do marketing, this is how you do this, it never works out. When I kind of fly by the seat of my pants, do my own thing, you know, have a funky time and have fun, then things happen, things always happen, it's the law of attraction, right? So, um, one really cool thing that I found this weekend was I was looking through um, the emergency handbook for getting money fast forum on the Powerful Intentions website. <laughs> um, I'll put the link so that you can have a look if you're interested. And I've ordered some of Carol's projects. We're, we're having an interesting time. The um, parcel delivery service in the UK didn't think it was necessary to let me know that they tried to deliver the parcel twice. Um, they thought my psychic powers would just would just tell me that it was here and uh, and I wouldn't be on, you know, emailing Carol going, where the hell's my parcel? Um, and then by the time I, and, and they told me to wait a few weeks, six weeks, uh, I waited five, and by the time I got in touch, they'd marked it to go back to the States. So it's somewhere still in the ether between us. <laughs> and I'm really keen to get on with these these things. Uh, so I, after weeks of just getting really frustrated and phoning Parcel Force every 15 seconds to say, where the hell's my parcel? Give it back to me. Uh, <laughs> which they haven't. Um, I let it go, and I said, you know what? Everything is as it should be. I really want these materials, um, I'm really keen to get them, really keen to get started, uh, they're on their way, what can I do? So I thought right I'm going to go through the old posts that I haven't read on this forum and I'm just going to have a look through. Found some really really cool stuff in there, um, more of which I will tell you about later. Um, but in general it was the whole, the whole feel of the site, Carol's um, work is about law of attraction, um, but it's not I mean, it's, a, it's similar, I guess, in a lot of ways to what other people do. Um, but it's, it's more focused on feeling. It's not about thought at all. And it's also focused on the bliss, not the stuff. So um, one of the techniques for attracting money is to sniff money. Check that um, post out if you're interested in this. It's fun. Um, it's to sniff money. And... The, the whole kind of thing about it is it, it's about getting to be at one with the mini in your heart. It's about feeling at one with tremendous amounts of mini. It's not about getting the mini. Ironically, the mini follows when you're at one with it. I'm sure you, you guys have had the experience where you're just having a tremendous fun and more fun comes and, and you know, serendipitous circumstances and everything kind of works out brilliantly. Um, that's what happens when you get in this really high vibrational fabulous energy um, but it's not about getting the stuff it's about getting that energy and I thought that's where I want to be in my business that's where when I'm there when I'm in that high vibrational place things work things work and I don't give a tit if you say to me you need to have 64 billion people on your mailing list and you need to send them 4,000 emails a day and blah 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 and you know somebody will buy one percent of people will buy oh you're boring me now it's no fun i want to work with people who are fun and different and independent and are willing to do things their way the way that works for them Gah! really fired up about this can you tell <laughs> anyway so, um, so so that's kind of what i wanted to tell you today um, that uh, and and please if you if you see me saying I've got to do this da 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 da, uh, please remind me that I haven't got to do anything and um, it's entirely my choice. So I think I'd better go because I think I've been rambling on for ages. I hope that made sense and I hope it was of help to somebody. I've got a feeling that someone needed to hear this today. Was it you? Hmm. Anyway, hope whoever needed to hear it heard it. Take really good care of you and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Mwah.